Hey guys, Eric Sue here. Hope you're doing well. I've got a special episode today for anyone who is struggling on their health journey. So stay tuned. So the big mystery is this. How do average Joes and Janes who did not cheat and hire personal trainers and chefs who want to live fit and healthy, how do we achieve our health and fitness goals and live our healthiest life yet still have plenty of time to enjoy it? That's the million dollar question and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Eric Sue, and welcome to Healthy Living with Eric Sue Radio. Hey guys, before I dive into today's episode, I wanted to let you guys know about a workshop, a core sequence workshop that I did. Um, And it's a great way for anyone who's learning how to train their core. I teach about how to breathe, how to perform the exercise without hurting your back, and it's really a great way to train more effectively. And so if that's you, go ahead and grab it at www.goality.com forward slash core workshop. And you can download it and um, get it and um, start training more effectively. All right, I'm back. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to do a episode today uh, on the topic of are you struggling on your health journey? And um, one thing that I think a lot of people are hitting right now at this time of the year, and as I record this, we are in March, and um, summer's around the corner, and uh, there might be a lot of pressure to, uh, if it's losing weight, I think a lot of people are doing that, and um, you're feeling the pressure Uh, of doing that and um, by doing so you're probably doing a lot of things like getting on the scale to see how how much weight you're losing or not losing and um, the results aren't there and you feel stuck and you're struggling trying to figure out what to do to uh, get out of this um, some people call it plateau um, and um, and so here's the episode that I'm going to share with you some thoughts about this so that um, I can help you get through this. So let's begin with, um, you know, there's really three things I think that people have to be be aware of. And, and one is uh, how your body reacts to something new. That's number one. And we'll dive into that. And number two, um, what do you do? when you do not get the results you want. So the re- reaction to, um, to to not getting what you want. And then number three, um, what can you do so that you get the results you want? Okay, so, so that's the action part. So let's dive into number one, which was, you know, um, anything you do your body will adjust and change, right? So uh, all of a sudden you are working out. All of a sudden you're eating clean. And now your body is in this mode of adjusting to what you are doing differently. And um, if you're cutting out calories, you probably will start um, seeing the scale weight change because you're cutting out calories. And if you're working out, in addition, you're probably burning more calories than you are already consuming, so you're creating a calorie deficit. And uh, if you work out correctly with the f- correct uh, intensities and building muscle to burn extra calories while you're not working out, um, that change that you just created for your body will result in some uh, weight loss if that's what you're going for. Um, I, I, I want to say that um, the more quality of your workouts, meaning are you doing specific strength training workouts, resistance training workouts, to build muscle, how you do it. Um, There's many different varieties and ways. Um, If you're doing the the correct ways, I would say, Um, I want to choose my words correctly, Um, and get the outcomes that you're looking for through those workouts, then awesome. You know, purpose uh, workouts are great. Now, it comes to a point when you are doing your training and all of a sudden your body is um, building this resistance to what you're doing. In other words, it's used to 
the cal calorie deficits. It's used to the type of workouts uh, you are doing, right? And um, there is a um, resistance that your body builds up. Um, the plateau is a result of not making any changes. So when, you, when you're in this uh, phase, I call it resistance, uh, body resistance phase, um, your body's just going to maintain what it um, feels comfortable at. And so um, how do you react to this situation? The um, common way to react to this situation for those who are not, um, uh, I guess, uh, experienced would be to feel down and feel like they're struggling, right? And um, I did an episode earlier about um, quick wins. And um, one of the best ways to uh, get out of this mindset of... Um, uh, I don't know, getting a, a down, if you will, feeling is, is to uh, get a quick win. How would you get a quick win if you are stuck in a um, resistance phase, what I call it, and you're, you're um, in this plateau? Well, uh, a quick win would be a, not so much a uh, result per se, however, a challenge you put yourself through that you overcame. Um, for example, um, going for a, a heavier resistance uh, training day and um, accomplishing that. That would be a quick win. Um, doing an extra set of cardio and accomplishing that and feeling great would be another quick win. You know, those types of, let's remember that not all uh, outcomes has to be a scale weight outcome. Um losing inches outcome. It can be in a performance outcome, right? And so um, those quick wins uh, really can help somebody uh, keep their momentum going and help them not feel um, like they're struggling, right? And then, and, and so a lot of times when people are in that struggling mode or mindset, they, they want to give up, right? So, all right. So I guess I, I kind of gave you some ideas on, on what you can do to um get out of your um plateau and and you know these uh, quick wins are are like i was going to say to this action part is, is shocking your system so that um it kind of has to uh, work differently and and so and i guess working differently is kind of a good way to say that when you are in this um resistance phase shocking your system working differently um working um not so much longer i would say a lot of times people say they have to work longer to get um uh results and stuff i i kind of i'm on the on the fence uh on the side where it's it's more quality than quantity so if one thing that i can kind of do is summarize this struggling if you're if you're struggling um, with on this health journey, is that we also have to remember that the long term, long vision, um, the journey is long, um, and we have to keep looking forward, um, and and not fall into this um, I don't know this this um, this pit, if you will, and and. The quicker you can get out of it and, and the sooner you learn what is going on and understand that um, your, your body does these things, you know, falls into resistance phase and so forth, the sooner that you can um, pick up and move forward. Um, the other thing is, is obviously surround yourself with some positive um, support groups, perhaps, and that can really help you, too. And so... Um, Never um, give up as well. I, I just posted somewhere that um, somebody wanted to give up or something like that, or I reminded them never to give up. So um, I'm going to remind you guys who's listening right now. So never give up. Um, understand that your body is um, in the resistance phase. Um, how you react is going to be key. So make sure you stay, um, stay up, stay positive. Um, and it's not just a mindset thing. It is is actually seeing yourself perform something and get a quick win that's going to keep your uh, mindset positive right so 
um, stop thinking about it and do more about it. So that's my advice on that. All right, so before I keep going back and forth about it, I hope you guys learned some few things about how to um, keep your uh, journey or keep your keep your motivation high and, and stay on track and, and keep that journey going to wherever goal you have. All right, so until, ne- until then, until the next episode, I um, hope you guys um, keep it going. If anyone wants to learn more about um, uh, me, myself, you can visit ericwsu.com. And if you want to grab my free seven-day e-course about how to um, increase your energy and uh, live healthier, you can grab that free seven-day e-course at www.ericwsu.com forward slash radio. And you can grab it there. All right, you guys. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Hey, thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe and leave feedback for me. Would you like me to teach you seven simple ways to increase your energy for free? If so, go download your free Feel Energized e-course by subscribing to this podcast at ericwsu.com forward slash radio. Also, if you have a question and want it answered live on the show, you can submit your question there.